Good day and thank you for joining me. Michael Kaminsky, Sublimation 101, a.k.a. Sublimation101.com, home of the industry's largest sublimation display and training center. We welcome you to come in anytime, Monday to Friday, 9 to 6. Call your customer service rep for an appointment if you would like to have a private viewing. Let's get started. One of my favorites, KB18. KB18 is an insulated lunch bag. You see how it comes packaged? We're going to open it up for you, but this is the secondary part. My primary part is the flap for the front of the bag. It's a Velcro attached flap. Then I'm going to show you everything about the bag. So what I want to do is come over here and I want to get a measurement. I've got at the widest point, you see I'm going to the widest point, it does taper. So I'm going to go just for the excess 9 inches, going up to the Velcro line, I'm going to give a little excess which is about 7 and a half. I'm going to go about 8 inches. So we have 9 by 8 is our substrate area. That's the area we focus on. So now, come on over guys, I'm going to show you how easy this is to make spin around over here and check this out. Let's come over to Creative Studio and we're going to create our box for Father's Day, which we already agreed was 8 inches wide by 9 inches high. We'll go to our gallery and we'll get that nice family photo that Dad wants on his lunchbox. Oh, so proud when he goes to the office with his family. What Dad wouldn't be proud to walk in with a lunchbox? We're simply going to print that out, guys. Tray one, we're going to use letter size paper. Our product is polyester fabric. And remember, photograph. Now, whichever printer you might be using, your settings should be on photo for any photo that comes out of a camera, regardless if it's a photograph, a family photo, a picture of a car, a dog. Anything that's printed with a photo should definitely be set in your ICC profile or your sublimation print manager, which comes with the sawgrass, into photo quality, okay? Because we do not want to have a yellow hue on our photo. Chances are that without having the proper profile or color management, you might get a yellow tint across the flesh tones. Knowing that flesh tones are one of the hardest things to make, we're going to have our print come out, and we're going to shoot over, and we're going to get that going for us. Here we go. And we'll come over to the heat press, guys. Thank you for joining me again. Michael Kaminsky, your host, with more great gift ideas for moms, dads, grads, and the summer season. Okay, guys, so our print comes out perfect. Look at that. Beautiful, clean print. Always check over your flesh tones. Now, what we're simply going to do is line up our bag. But remember, there is a topper. So we want to go as high up to the top as we can without cutting anything. Now, what I like to do here is put my tape on the sides. A nice, about two-inch piece of tape right on the sides to secure it. What this does... It'll ensure me to give a peek to make sure I did not cut off his head or do anything like that. We're going to put that right under our heat press. For 400 degrees for 45 seconds. So we're on our final countdown, as you see, for our beautiful bag. I didn't even show you the beautiful bag because we've been working on the flap. Open up your press. Very simple. Take your paper with the tape and peel it right off and reveal your beautiful color. Now the best part right now is showing you the bag. This bag says a lot. First of all, it has a strap on. So you can strap it on and put it on your shoulder. As well as a Velcro locking lid uh, topper right here to open it. But the best part of all about this bag is, not only is it machine washable and washable, but guess what? I think you can already see it coming through. The size, number one. Okay, number two, it's insulated. Be careful of different bags in the marketplace. This is fully insulated. It'll keep your cools cool and your warms warm. That is what a real insulated lunch bag looks like. And how do we put it together? Our Velcro strap is right on the inside for our photo. I'm simply going to let that cool down like I did, and I'm going to put it right into my bag, attach it to my Velcro, 
and it's finished. And it's even got a Velcro locking strap at the bottom, as you see. Guys, this is how fun, fast, and easy it is to make the Sublimation 101 KB18 lunch bag insulated. Great for mom, great for dads, great for grads. Remember, it includes the shoulder strap on. Make it easier carrying with the locking snaps on the side. With the shoulder pad on it, adjustable. I'm ready to go. This is Michael Kaminsky from Sublimation 101, also known as sublimation101.com. Have a great holiday weekend. Thank you.